Hey devs, welcome back for another Tool and Tip Tuesday here. This week we're doing something a little bit different, a little less practical, maybe a little bit more fun. I've had a number of people ask me lately about my IDE uh, theme and styles and about the, the icons and the colors and just basically the general uh, look and feel of my ADE lately. So today I'm gonna walk through the Material Theme UI plugin for IntelliJ and Android Studio and show you how you can configure your IDE to have a bit more color and a bit more material look and feel to it. Now you see here I have Android Studio open with the default look and feel. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to Preferences on my Mac. It would be Settings if you're on a Windows machine. And then I'm going to search for Plugins. And then I'm going to go to the Marketplace and I'm going to search for Material. And you'll see here it's going to auto-suggest Material Theme UI. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit install. And that'll download. And then it'll prompt me to restart my IDE. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Once the Android Studio has restarted, you should be presented with the Material Theme Wizard. This wizard is provided by the Material Theme UI plugin and will help walk you through the configuration process. Now, the first off, I'm gonna hit Next, to, to go to the themes, and here you can choose between their oceanic or their darker theme, depending on your preference. I personally like to go with the oceanic theme because it's just a little bit lighter and softer. You can click next, we'll go over and choose your contrast mode. Again here, I'm gonna choose high contrast, but feel free to play around with each of these, and I'll show you how to do that very quickly a little bit later on. Next, you can go and choose an accent color. So for this example, I'll choose a yellow. And I'm going to select Use Accent Color from Theme. And you'll see now that it gives some examples of how these controls look with the updated accent color. Once you're happy with your color, you can hit Next and go to Other Settings. You'll see here there are quite a few options. You can control tab heights, thickness of the tab indicators, you can control how the panels look. You can modify the look and feel of the icons. There's really a lot you can do here. For now, I'm gonna leave all of these as the default, and then I'll show you how to tweak those here in a minute. Finally, you can hit Finish and start using Android Studio. And you'll see now we have this updated set of icons along the top. If we open up our panels, you can see that we have a little bit softer colors. Again, the icons there are changed. You can see down here in our tool panels, again, the icons are all a little bit different. And now if I open up a file, I also see that I have a new uh, theme color as well. Now that's one of the interesting things about the plugin is that it comes with some really nice color themes. So if we go to preferences, and we go to color and uh, color schemes. If we go to our scheme dropdown, we'll now see that there are quite a few options to choose from here. The one that I have been particularly enjoying lately is this Dracula theme. And if I hit apply then go take a look at the code and we'll see that it's a very bright theme and I've also updated this to be a little bit larger on the font so that it's easier to read. There's a number of other themes as well, though. Another one that you might take a look at are the material themes. So there's this material pale night, which doesn't look too bad, although the font is a little bit small for my tastes. There's also the material oceanic. Now, if you want to play around with more of these schemes more quickly, there's a shortcut. If you look up here at these new icons that have been added as part of the plugin, 
If you click on this one, this, this little circle, you'll notice that we have these different themes that you can quickly choose from. And so you could quickly switch over to any of you like. So with this, I'll jump back over to my personal preference of the Dracula theme. Now you can also go over to this next icon and you can toggle the contrast modes. So I had high contrast on. I could click that off and you'll notice a slight variation in the background color. I could turn contrast back on and again, that changes ever so slightly. You can select the compact toolbar or non-compact toolbar. You see, there's really a lot of options here, and I encourage you to play along with those and just see what fits your needs the best. So if you click on this next icon, you can modify your accent color. And then finally, this very last one that looks like a puzzle piece will allow you to do some high-level global settings, like turning on or off the material theme, you see that has a large impact on the color of the panels and the toolbars. You could toggle on and off the material icons. And you could also control things like file icons or fonts. So again, there's a lot of settings here to play with, and I encourage you to play around with that and really customize your IDE to your liking we spend so much time looking at code that I think that we should enjoy the look and feel of our tools just as much. So with that, I hope that's been a nice quick look at the material theme UI. I encourage you to take a look. Thanks for watching devs until next time.